Hello, my name is Epiphany Sophia and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this New Year's, I decided that I want to develop greater self-discipline, all right? Like I've kind of got it. I can make myself do stuff that's unpleasant, but I like really want to go hard this year and like strengthen it. So, you know, now that this quarantine has rolled around, I, um, I think this is the perfect time. <laughs> I've literally got nothing better to do. I've been like painting some shoes. You know, I could be doing something else. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna meditate for an hour a day for 30 days. I've already been meditating for about a year, um, about 15 minutes every morning. And since the start of that, I've seen a lot of changes in myself and my environment and my habits and my friends. And so I'm just, I'm really excited to see what these 30 days will bring. And I figured, hey, if I film it, then I like can't, I can't give up, you know? So I hope you all enjoy this video and I hope it's not too boring. It's gonna be me sitting around, but I'm gonna make it look really cute. So <laughs> yeah, stick around. So I already meditated for 15 minutes this morning before I knew I was gonna make this video. So I'm gonna knock out a quick 15 right now and then see you tonight for that 30 minute grind before bed. Okay guys, I just got done oil pulling, so now it's time to meditate. This lighting is like a little sensual, but I'm about to wear the most unappealing outfit you've ever seen, so um, yeah, can't wait. Here I am, back at that unappealing outfit I promised you. <sighs> okay, let's go. Quick background tour while I meditate. That basket is what I use to collect herbs from around my neighborhood in, such as lavender and mint. I have bugs taped to the wall because I've always been interested in studying arthropods. That flower crown is to be worn for special occasions, such as the spring sabbat. I have a bottle of lemon balm spray that I diffused myself, and I use that on my face in the mornings after a shower. Um, I have my earth altar in the background because the side of my room is completely earth-themed. Okay guys, I made it through day one. I have completed a full hour of meditation today. So, I made it through the night live. That's really exciting. So, now I'm going to meditate, because this is day two. Day two, not four. Day two of 30 days of meditation. This is going by pretty fast, so. Let's get cracking, because I'm trying to go for a run after this. Background tour number two, guys. All right, behind me is the west wall, which is the water wall, and water represents intuition and like emotions and subconscious. So I am facing east because east is the direction of the rising sun, and that represents new beginnings and rebirth. So I always meditate towards the east. Quan Yen is sitting on my water altar because she is the goddess of compassion. I have a chalice and my crystal ball, and then hanging above it is a pentagram. Most people get uncomfortable with pentagrams, but it literally just symbolizes spirit above the physical. I try not to hold the material plane as the highest value. Alright, that was not as bad as last night. I think I do better in the mornings because I haven't had all the instant gratification like throughout the day yet. I mean, hopefully it's just going to keep getting easier. So, you know, 30 minutes done, 30 minutes to go tonight. See you there. What's up? I'm starting a bit early today. It's like 6.35 and I'm gonna knock this out really fast so I can go eat dinner. Well, obviously not really fast because it has to be exactly 30 minutes, but pretty, you know, it'll, be, it'll go fast in my head. I just listened to the best Dharma talk I've heard so far. Um, it was by Tenzin Palmo. My brother was listening to it in the living room and I walked by and I heard her say, don't take life so seriously. And that really caught my attention because I was watching RuPaul's Masterclass and he kept bringing that up. And so ever since watching that, that quote has been stuck in my head. So when I walked by and she said that, like, I just knew I had to listen to it. And oh my gosh, it was so enlightening. I'm definitely going to link it in the description. So go ahead and check that out. All right, it's day seven. I'm in my treehouse currently. Um, all my repressed sadness is coming up now. So that's great. 
I'm very grateful that all of that is happening now while I'm in quarantine so I don't have to deal with that while I'm at school. <laughs> Yeah, so I've been sad for the past two days, just processing all of the emotion I didn't know I had. And that's why I love meditation, because I get to go through all of this bullshit and get it over with so I can move on and be happy and it's not stuck deep down in my bones forever festering. <laughs> so I was just walking down the street, minding my own business and this guy like drove really slowly in his car next to me and like was filming me and it just made me feel so shitty when I realized what was happening and then he sped away really fast and I had to like control my impulse not to throw my bottle at his car <laughs> and so now I'm sitting in this parking lot trying to feel compassion for him which is really hard to do but I know anger will only make it worse and his suffering adds to my suffering. The fact that he was suffering enough to do that to somebody, and then that caused me to want to like lash out in violence is not okay. And it's really hard for me to feel compassionate for people who do those kinds of things but I'm really trying, so that's why I'm sitting here trying to breathe into my anger and not let it blossom into hatred. Just be kind to people that respect people. So it's been three months since I started this challenge and um, I had a bit of a mental breakdown after day 15 and I just couldn't do it. I thought there was just no possible way I could meditate ever again. Oh my god. Hey, conflict revolution! Sorry, that was my cats. Yeah, I just like lost my sense of identity for like the rest of the months, including now. I'm just kind of picking it back up. Also, all my hair started falling out. I asked the universe for humility and I got it, so. We're working through that. That's been so fun. Also, like looking back at this video that I made, I'm just like blown away at how egotistical I am. And like, I still am now. Literally like last Monday, I had a full breakdown again. <laughs> Meditation just so fun, guys. Do it. No, seriously, do it. It's, it's worth it. But, oh my God, I just like fully comprehended how much life is suffering. Like, I really got it. I really got it. I want to finish this, all right? I said I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> I didn't say I would do it 30 days in a row. I might have actually, fuck. Well, anyway, I'm gonna do the full 30 days. I think my problem was I was doing sitting down meditations without being grounded whatsoever. And also, sitting meditations, it's like one of the hardest for me specifically. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna still do that a little bit, but I'm also gonna try to get some walking meditations in and just like other types of meditations so I don't like die. <laughs> oh my God. After about like a month, two months, maybe after like two months after I stopped meditating, I started doing it again. Like, I just felt that pull to do it again. You know, even though it caused me so much suffering, it caused me suffering. Yeah. <laughs> even though I had a rough time, I just, I went back to it. After thinking I wouldn't for like a while, it only took me two months. I just, it's worth it. I've learned so much these past three months that I like can't even articulate it <laughs> at all. Like, I just can't. There's just, once you start doing this kind of stuff, you can't you can't really talk to people about it unless they've also been doing it. And so that makes you feel really alone sometimes. Also, I am gonna do this, but I'm gonna try to film less because filming it was like really unhelpful for me when I was meditating. 
I'm also like, I'm gonna try to be on screens less and try to just keep stuff down so I don't have as much bullshit going on in my brain while I'm trying to meditate. Cause last time I would sit down to meditate and then it would just be like, everything would attack me because I wasn't, I was like meditating and then I was like not doing anything else all day. I was just like sitting on my phone and like eating like ass, <laughs> you know? I'm not gonna do that. Right livelihood. <laughs> Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. That's the sin we're conquering today. <laughs> Speaking of, I have to go meet my friend Vera to go on a walk, so. So I had Lana Del Rey playing in the background of these videos, but I'm not trying to get copyrighted. So instead, you get to hear my lovely voice while you watch me attempt to pole dance for the first time. <laughs> okay, but like, the Dalai Lama is literally just Avatar. Like, minus the bending. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> just right down the middle. <laughs> no! Yes! No! The song we're playing in the background of this one was like the one that's like, why be gonna burn up burn up down down? I don't know any of the lyrics, I just know it sounds like that. Normally. It's a password, Quinston. I'm gonna play something on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so soft. I hope this is the way you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Heck no. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> Ew. So gross. <laughs> I would just like to say thank you to Jamie and Mesa for being so supportive of my meditation and like not interrupting me when I would meditate on the porch every day. Like, that was just, like, really kind, and you guys are real Gs. So, thank you. It's the 4th of July, so that's why you're gonna hear all this booming in the background, but, um, this is the last day of my meditation challenge. It's day 30. I have 30 minutes to go, and I feel good. I'm really glad I decided to finish this challenge because I wasn't going to. And um, I think I'm going to keep my hair short because I'm kind of digging it, not gonna lie. I didn't realize how much brain power I was like spending thinking about my hair before I shaved it, but like all of this last week, I have just been chilling. Like I haven't thought about my appearance like once. Like this is so great. If you haven't shaved your head before, I recommend doing it. This is my third time, fourth time. This is my fourth time shaving my head and it's fun. <laughs> Just try it. It always goes back. I did this entire last week of meditations at my friend's house. <laughs> so that was like a little tricky to navigate because there was like five people in the house at the time, but it was fun. And I I think I showed my friend Buddhism, so he's gonna start doing that, and I'm just so excited about that. <laughs> like, finally, I finally have someone to talk to about this kind of stuff, so that's really nice. This has been a really good week. Honestly, everything's just pretty great. Like, I'm just, I'm really happy. I just finished watching Hamilton with my moms, and um, everything's just good. I'm gonna go finish my last 30 minutes of this meditation and then I will check back in tomorrow and give you guys the rundown of this whole thing. <laughs> the dramatic lighting really made this one. So, I meditated for an hour a day for 30 days. I'm done. Oh, I don't even know where to start with this. So much has changed in these past 30 days, even though it took me like a few months to finish this. Um, man. 
I guess I'm going to start with that Dharma talk I mentioned earlier by Tenzin Palmo. She just like, she mentioned the point of meditation is to become more compassionate and to have less abrasive emotions that control you. And so when I first started meditating, I didn't understand that. I thought I was meditating to just like get a clear head and like, you know, improve my life. And then halfway, not even halfway, like the last week after hearing that Dharma talk, I completely flipped my switch and my meditations have all been about becoming more kind and compassionate and wow (laughs) one thing I have definitely learned in these past 30 days that helped a lot with becoming more compassionate is to take a genuine interest in people like when I first started like I definitely cared about people but you know I was always waiting for them to like finish what they were saying so I could say something about myself and so I wasn't really like listening but after I've been like meditating on compassion, I, I genuinely want to listen to people. I want to hear what they have to say. Like I can hold eye contact a lot better now. And I'm like present in what they're saying. And it's just, it's really deepened my relationships with people, I think. This past week, I spent at my friend's house and I genuinely cared about everything they all had to say to me. And it was just so different to how I was before it's just so much nicer now, like being with people. I didn't think I would get that. I thought I would just get like personal benefits, but I don't know. I guess that is a personal benefit, but it's, it's definitely helped other people, I think. I've also realized like doing basic things like, you know, doing the dishes or like cleaning my room. Like I don't have to have like such a strong opinion and like such strong emotions over that. Like I could just do it, you know? Like, it's just helpful. I could just do that for myself and for my family. There's really no need to, like, complain or, like, procrastinate. Oh, also procrastination. I, my procrastination has stopped. Not stopped completely, but really lowered. I, like, decide I want something, and then I just, I do it. Or I just, I'm like, I have to go do this thing, and so I just do it. There's no, not really any hesitation anymore. Because I don't feel so much resistance inside of myself. And I'm not gonna lie and say that this whole challenge was easy because you obviously saw that it wasn't. Lots of it really sucked. It was really hard. It was really hard to deal with. But the outcome is just so, so good. And I'm definitely never gonna stop meditating. I hope. (laughs) No. Even though this challenge is ending, I'm still going to meditate. I'm grateful for all of the insight that these 30 days have provided me with. And I just, I can't wait to just keep I can wait, actually. (laughs) I can wait. I was gonna say I can't wait to like see what I become, but I can wait. I'm okay how I am. I'm okay right now. (laughs) That's one thing I learned, you know? I don't have to keep looking in the future all the time. Everything's fine right now. Oh, and also, something I just read in this book over here, I don't know if you can see it, but um, it's like everything is new constantly. Like, you're never seeing the same thing twice. It's always new and shifting, and, like, you're always changing. That's one thing I really took to heart um, this past 30 days is that I'm constantly shifting. I don't have to, like, stay tied down to one single identity because, like, it's just not possible. You're always different. You're always changing. Like, (laughs) plants are always changing, everything around you. Even if you think it's the same, it's different because it's a new day and you have a new set of eyes and it's a new perspective and it's just like, just easier to feel grateful when you look at everything like it's the first time you've seen it. Especially people, it's just amazing. Like looking at people like that, you're just like, wow. I just care about you so deeply. Like you're just evolving constantly before my eyes and it's beautiful. Oh man. (laughs) Everything's just like, ah, I'm so happy, okay. I've also um, really cut down on like things that were distracting me. Like I spend most of my pastime reading now. I used to like watch TV a lot, not a lot, but like, you know, like a majority of my time I'd like watch YouTube or TV, but now I really, I don't even have a, a desire to do that. Like when I think of things that entertain me, it's like books and writing. Like I really love writing now. I <laughs> like before I started this, I wasn't really writing. 
I've always loved writing, but I kind of just got distracted, and I found it again, and I'm, I'm actually, like, producing poems and, like, essays that I enjoy reading, and I'm proud of writing, and I, that's just so nice, and I just, not feeling the need to do nothing and, like, fill my brain up with stuff is really great, and I want to learn stuff, like, I, I have a stronger interest in, like, learning about the world. But also, I feel more content, like, you know what? I'm still okay now. Like, where I am in my learning process, I'm okay now. If you're gonna take away anything from watching this video, I think it should be to not take life so seriously <laughs> and to genuinely care about people. Like, there's, those two things are, are really beneficial. For me, I, what I found, um, I mean, the main thing is that you should just meditate and see where that takes you. Just try meditation. If you can only do it, like, for five minutes a day, do it for five minutes a day, even less. It's just, it's so worth it. Like, just experience it for yourself and reap your own benefits. Don't just, like, listen to what people are doing. Try it. It's worth it. All right, one last thing. I just wanted to say that all of these, like, qualities that you might, like, gain from meditation, they don't stick. Like... It's an everyday path. Like, you have to keep working at it every single day. You don't just, like, gain these skills and then keep them without putting in the work, you know? Meditation is about putting the work, all right? You gotta, you gotta uphold your beliefs every single day and uphold your values every single day. <laughs> and some days, you might mess up. You genuinely might mess up. I still mess up. I'm not happy every day. I'm not, like, on top of my stuff every single day. But that doesn't make it any less worth it. And honestly, it makes doing these things every day a whole lot easier. <laughs> so I just wanted to put that out there. And I also just wanted to say thank you for watching my video. It really meant a lot to me if you actually got to the end and are hearing me speak right now. If you notice, I'm wearing the same shirt as I did in the beginning. I just have less hair. <laughs> so yes, thank you for watching this. I hope you try meditating and I hope you have a good day.